Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring using all the techniques combined. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 4x to the 8th, minus 61x to the 4th, plus 225, and we got to factor this. Now what's tricky here is we can see it's in quadratic form. We have an a value of 4, meaning there's two options of setting this whole thing up. The, it has some combination of 2x to the 4th like this and 2x to the 4th, or we can have some 4x to the 4th times 4, I'm oh, sorry, well not 4, <laughs> just x to the 4th here, getting ahead of myself. Oh, mistake. Be careful with that. x to the 4th. 4x to the 4th times x to the 4th gives me 4x to the 8th. Same thing with 2x to the 4th times 2x to the 4th gives me 4x to the 8th. So we have our two options. We now have to look at our c value, 225. And our b value is negative here, okay? Since our b value is negative and 225, uh, c value is positive, that means the two numbers that multiply by 225 have to be negative. Two negatives multiply, make a positive. So now we're going to go through all the numbers that multiply together to be negative 225. Negative 225 and negative 1. Negative 75 and negative 3. Negative 45 and negative 5. Negative 25 and negative 9. And negative 15 and negative 15. So now we have to ask ourselves, 2 times one of the numbers plus 2 times the other number, does it get us negative 61? Or 4 times one of the numbers plus 1 times the other number gets us negative 61. And so we can try a whole bunch of these out there, and that's where we kind of go guessing. We're going to jump to, well, the answer. Negative 25 and 9 is what we're looking for here. How so? Well, 4 times a negative 9 plus 1 times a negative 25 what does that equal? Okay. Well, 4 times negative 9 is a negative 36, and, well, we have plus a negative 25. Combine that, we get a negative 61. So these are the numbers that we're looking for. Negative 9 gets multiplied by the 4, so we put it on this side here. 25 gets multiplied by the 1, or negative 25, put that there. So we don't use this first part. Now, can we factor this any more? And the answer is, well, yes. This one here, this first part here, can factor out to be a 2x squared plus 5 and a 2x squared minus a 5, right? 5 times negative 5, negative 25. 2x squared times 2x squared is 4x to the 4th. And then 5 plus a negative 5 is 0. Same thing actually applies here as well. x squared and x squared. Fit it here. Pull that out. And then if we have a plus 3 and minus 3, 3 times negative 3 is 9, add them together, we get a 0, and x squared times x squared is x to the 4th. And so our final answer here is 2x squared plus 5 times 2x squared minus 5 plus x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 3. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.